The patient is a 73-year-old woman with cholangiocarcinoma. A large mass was found in the caudate lobe, encroaching upon the cava. It is in close proximity to the root of middle left hepatic vein, right hepatic vein, left portal vein, and main anterior branch of right portal vein. The main posterior branch of the right portal vein is free of tumor. Note the anatomy here. A posterior segment 8 portal vein branch arises from the main anterior right portal vein. Unlike the portal vein, a posterior segment 8 hepatic artery branch arises from the main posterior right hepatic artery, not the main anterior right hepatic artery. To ensure negative margins, an extended left hepatectomy was planned. With resection of segments 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 8. Before portal dissection commences, the gallbladder will be removed with division of the cystic artery and duct. During portal dissection, the left hepatic artery and left portal vein will be divided. Arteries to the caudate lobe and segment 4 will be divided. The anterior branch of the right hepatic artery and anterior branch of the right portal vein will also be divided. After parenchymal transection, with in situ cold perfusion solution running through the right lobe, branches of the right hepatic vein will be divided. The cava will be divided above and below the liver. The specimen will be removed. A sheet of extracellular matrix, which acts as a bioscaffold to remodel native vascular tissue, will be sutured into a tube and used to reconstruct the cava. Another sheet will also be sutured into a tube and on both ends. This will be used to connect the right hepatic vein orifices to the cava graft in a side-to-side -side fashion. With the cava graft in place, the liver will be shifted medially to bring the right hepatic vein close to the cava for reconstruction. The right hepatic vein graft will then be placed parallel to the liver surface and anastomose to the right hepatic vein orifices on one side and to the cava graft on the other.